Yan. Wait up! Game! This program is rated SPG. It contains scenes with themes, language, violence, sex, horror, or drugs, which may not be suitable for children. Strong parental guidance is advised. Good afternoon, I am Trisha Sereño bringing today's news. And the latest news we got, sick wife stabs husband to death. A middle-aged man was killed inside their house by his wife who was diagnosed of having Codard syndrome. Here's a video for more details. For almost three years of being together, Nadine Getty Valdez and Mong Lloyd C. Valdez have not thought of being apart because of a certain disease called Codard syndrome. They have no idea that after living a happy life, the death of the family lies on the hand. She is Nadine Gevaldes, 38, a cheerful and a graduate of teacher education at St. Louis University, Baguio City, and happily married to Mong Lloyd C. Valdez. After years of living in, their relationship bore a child and named Chang Gevaldes. After some incidences, Nadine changed into a horrible woman as if she's not Nadine anymore. Due to severe depression, she was diagnosed to have Cotard Syndrome. Cotard Syndrome, also called Cotard's Delusion and Walking Corp Syndrome, is a rare condition where people feel that they have either died or part of their body has decayed. The syndrome is most commonly witnessed in people who have schizophrenia and bipolar disorder but it is even found in suffering from migraines, tumors, or trauma. People with Cotard syndrome may also believe that they have missed certain organs or body parts, or they may believe their soul has died. This may be caused by major depression with psychotic features, schizophrenia or organic mental conditions, especially in young people, in which it may be associated with bipolar disorder. In the first phase, the individual might only feel despair and self-loathing, but as the illness progresses, they will deny their own existence, believe that they are in hell or heaven, or simply believe that others died. Their delusions can be linked to their life. Some, who had an accident before the symptoms, may believe that they died in the accident, while others might believe their organs are affected or they simply disappeared. For example, a woman who cannot have children might believe that their uterus disappeared. There are several reports of successful pharmacological treatment. Monotherapeutic and combination strategies are both reported. Antidepressants, antipsychotics, and mood stabilizers are used. Many reports affects with con electroconvulsive therapy, mostly in combination with pharmacotherapy. Nadine, she's a loving, hardworking, and caring teacher, and she always makes sure that her family is of good condition and treats her student as her own. But sometimes, students complain about her usual attitude and mannerisms that annoy them, and sometimes it comes to the point that they get scared and paranoid. There are times that she does go to class with enthusiasm, but sometimes goes to class with anger. Their family is just one of the middle-class families that needed to struggle hard for survival. Once, there came a time when their financial stability sloped down as if they can't do anything to save their dying child, sick of leukemia. Since Nadine is the only one working for them, she started worrying too much that she can't even have a sip in her coffee. Any problem? My daughter is sick, but we don't have enough money. I don't know where to get it. Wait. I have some savings here. I can lend you some. Here. Oh, thank you. This will be a great help for us. Welcome. And it was a relief, yet she knows very well that it is not enough. 
till then all that she has borrowed invested and saved was still not enough So she decided to move to Manila and luckily landed a job as a math teacher with a higher pay. She stayed and Mong Lloyd was the one to take care of Chang Ye while Nadine Ge is not around, guide her and look over her since Chang Ye is too weak to live longer. One night, while Nadine Ge was preparing for the next day's lesson, a shocking news dragged her to tears and that made her wanting to go back home. Hello? Oh, what happened? What? McDonald's Everyday McSavers, 25 pesos lang. Since then, Nadine just seemed to be not herself and her body is apart from her soul. She started hallucinating, hearing, seeing, imagining things that she aren't supposed to see, hear, and imagine. She also had once a thought of her daughter not really dead. And she was the one dead. She thought of her husband was poisoning her. And so she stabbed her husband to death. Number three, it seems that organic disorder in Cotard syndrome is more frequent in female patients, but no studies were ever made to support this. It also seems to be more frequent in people under 23 years of age with a family history of a vector disorder. Joe Scottard, a French neurologist who first described the condition, which he called Le Delire de Negation or Negation Delirium, in a lecture in Paris in 1880. He described the syndrome as having a degree of severity that ranged from mild to severe. Despair and self loathing characterize a mild state. Severe state is characterized by intense delusions and chronic depression. In one of his lectures, Scottard described a patient with the pseudonym. Madame Missoula X, who denied the existence of several parts of her body and her need to eat. Later, she believed that she was eternally damned and could no longer lie a natural death. She later died of starvation. The underlying psychopathology and neurophysiology of Cotard syndrome may be related to other pro problems involving delusional misidentification. Neurologically, Cotards is thought to be related to the Capra's delusion and both are thought to result from disconnect between the brain areas that recognize faces and the areas that are associated emotions with that recognition. This disconnection creates a sense that the observed face is not the person it purports to be and therefore lacks the familiarity that should be associated with it. The disconnect results in a feeling of the realization if it's the face of the person known to the sufferer, it, it is experienced as an imposter. If the sufferer sees their own face, they may feel no association between it and their sense of self, resulting in a sense that they do not exist. That was a wrap. This is Trisha Serenial Report. 
Thank <laughs> you.